Well, in trigonometry, one of the most important things you really need to know how to do is to label the unit circle, both in degrees and radians, at least for some key angles. So that's what we'll do here. And the good news is that it's really just a matter of counting, just counting and maybe adding some simple fractions. So let's see how it's done. We'll start with zero degrees over here on the right. Remember that we go around this, the unit circle counterclockwise, and so if we go around one full circle, it's zero to 360 degrees. Now let's count in half circles. If we go halfway around the circle, it's 180 degrees, and then we come right back to 360. The next thing we'll do is count in quarter circles. A quarter circle is 90 degrees, then we go to 180, then to 270, and back to 360, and that's really just counting by nines, right? 0, 9, 18, 27, 36. Now let's divide the unit circle into eighths, and these are the 45 degree increments. So we'll start labeling those at 45 degrees, twice 45 is 90, add 45, we get 135, add another 45, we get 180, add another 45, we get 225, Add 45 again to get 270. Add 45 to get 315. And finally add 45 to get back to 360. So it all adds up. Okay, now 30 and 60 degree angles are important in trigonometry as well. So let's divide the unit circle up into 30 degree chunks. And we'll just walk our way around the circle in 30 degree angles, 30 degrees, 60 degrees, add 30 to get 90, add 30 to get 120, add 30 to get 150, that puts us at 180, add 30 to get 210, add 30 to get 240, brings us back to 270, add 30 to get 300, then 330, and then we're back around to the start at 360 degrees. So those are the important labels uh, on the unit circle in degrees. Now let's do it in radians. We start at zero radians, and a full trip around the circle gives us two pi radians. Halfway around the circle then is half of two pi or pi. A quarter way around the circle would be half of pi or pi over two, so we have pi over two, 2 pi over 2 is pi, then 3 pi over 2, and then 4 pi over 2 is just 2 pi. So you can see that we're just counting. Now quarter circles. A quarter of a circle is pi over 4, so then we have 2 pi over 4, which is pi over 2. Then 3 pi over 4 comes next. And then 4 pi over 4 is just pi, 5 pi over 4, 6 pi over 4 is really 3 pi over 2, just reducing those fractions, and then 7 pi over 4, and 8 pi over 4 is 2 pi. And then finally those 30 degree angles. So a 30 degree angle is pi over 6, so 2 pi over 6 gives us pi over 3, and then we have 3 pi over 6, which is really just pi over 2. So we keep checking in on these angles that we've already done. 4 pi over 6 is really 2 pi over 3. So we'll try and reduce these as we go along. 5 pi over 6 stands by itself. 6 pi over 6 is pi, so we're right on track. 7 pi over 6 stands alone. 8 pi over 6 is really 4 pi over 3. 9 pi over 6 is 3 pi over 2. 10 pi over 6 is 5 pi over 3. And then 11 pi over 6 is our 330 degree angle. And then we're right back to 12 pi over 6, which is 2 pi. And so that's how we count around the unit circle. And I'll just clean this up a little bit.